champion was able to sneak in and finish the job. <laughs> Absolutely insane start here. Coming in clutch, like right on the wire. But man, we get it done. What's going on, McSlither? How are you? That's your boy, Kala. Yeah. <laughs> He's going to feel good about that. I know that Kala's been in um, a little bit of a slump lately. And, um, you know, he goes through these where he's like, He's triple after triple after triple, and then sometimes he's just hitting time fails. So I'm really glad to see that coming in strong for him. Uh, Romeo, thank you for the follow. Is it Rami OP? Maybe it's Rami OP. <laughs> I'll call you Romeo. So Rigo Torres coming in uh, with the hybrid. Okay, Rigo. So we see Rigo's decided to switch gears in Town Hall 14 meta. He's, uh, he's lost the drive for the queen charge Lalo and found his comfort zone in these hybrids because this is what I'm pretty much seeing coming in from Rigo lately. Drops that freeze down to hold up the single targeting Inferno. This gives a queen just a little bit more room to breathe as she makes her push through. Now with the queen moving into this compartment, ideally what we wanna see is not only the full clean out, but we've got that extra wall breaker to keep her moving through. Now we don't necessarily need to break her into the center of the base. We've got these open walls, open path that we can kind of weave her in and out because we've got a very big wide compartment here that she can do a lot of cleanup work and has already, once that's down, shaped up what the hybrid needs to move along. So it's just making sure that she can weave in and out and get through to the corner pockets that we want to see working along. Though it wouldn't be too bad to help get out some of those scatter shots on top. Though I suspect a warden ability would do phenomenal work coming in on that one. Queen very patient through as she works 